All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be going over cybersecurity and why I believe cybersecurity is not the career field if you're brand new in the tech. Because I see a lot of people, they think, hey, I want to get into tech. I want to like dive my feet into to tech and, and actually land a career in this field. And they say, oh, what field sounds the best? They look at cybersecurity, they look at networking, um, they look at data, they look at all that stuff. And then for whatever reason, cybersecurity seems to be all the craze. Everyone loves the idea of going into cybersecurity, which I understand there's a lot of cyber attacks. It seems like a cool industry to get into. You're you're almost like the good guys in the world of the cyber criminals. But you have to remember, if you're securing a technology infrastructure, how are you going to be able to actually secure it if you don't fully understand what you're securing? Right. If you don't fully understand what you're securing, then how are you going to be able to secure it? And that's why cybersecurity, in essence, is not seen as a beginner friendly field because you have to understand the cloud architecture. You have to understand the network architecture. You have to understand exactly what you're trying to secure in the first spot. And a lot of people, they don't really understand it. They think, oh, cybersecurity, it's, there's a lot of job demand. A lot of people want to jump in this field. And there is jobs, but there's also a lot of people who also want to get into this field. And the issue is most companies, they don't want beginners. They genuinely don't want beginners. If I were a company right now, if I were a company right now, would I hire someone who's brand new into the field in cybersecurity or hire someone who has experience in, in another field and then shift it to security as opposed to going straight to cybersecurity, right? Imagine you have cloud experience and then from that cloud experience that you've obtained, you shifted that experience into a cloud security sector. Right. That makes more sense for a company to hire that individual as opposed to someone who has no tech experience and wants to jump into security, SOC analyst, whatever position they want to get into, because it's just it's not beginner friendly. Have people gone from zero experience to security? Of course, that's a, that has happened. But I've seen the far majority of people who want to get into security end up not finding positions. I talk to people all the time. They go through boot camps where they spend tens of thousands of dollars. Right. They spend tens of thousands of dollars to learn the skill of cybersecurity, and then they end up going to the job market only to find out that they can't find a job. And why is that? Because they don't have the required experience they need to jump into this field. Um, and, I, and I see a lot of universities offering cybersecurity majors, and I'm like, why are you getting a major in cybersecurity? You might as well get a major in computer science first. Right, because computer science is so much more broader, it covers more aspects. Um, and if you have a computer science degree, that can get you into cybersecurity versus cybersecurity, it focuses too much on the security side and you won't have that other experience when it comes to computers and networks. So that's the big issue right there. And I know a lot of people are struggling with this because everyone's been told cybersecurity has the biggest job demand, so much growth, so much growth. So a lot of beginners end up going to this field thinking cybersecurity is the way. And they end up finding, I can't find a position. So, I mean, I've seen it before. I mean, I can show you guys right here. I have like an example of literally someone who I was kind of shocked to be, who was in this position. Uh, I'll probably put it somewhere here, but it says, as you know, over the last year and a half, I've been applying for jobs. I estimate I applied to tens of thousands of jobs throughout this period in time. Wow. In the last two weeks, I applied to almost 400 jobs. That's insane, guys. That's absolutely insane. And, and the craziest thing is this individual has a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, a master's degree in cybersecurity, and he went through the WGU program, which gives you a ton of cybersecurity certifications like the CISA, the Security Plus, um, the CC, whatever. Like, There's a lot of cybersecurity certifications, um, and he has all that. He has a lot of experience in this, the, you know, in terms of schooling, but he doesn't have actual job experience, right? And that's what they're looking for. And if you don't have that experience, they're not going to trust you to secure their infrastructure. And that's a big deal that a lot of people are going through. And, and really to remediate this issue, you have to get good at one sector in tech, data, software, cloud, or network. Once you fully understand one of those sectors, right, then you can transition from that sector into a, like a cloud security, a network security, those kind of roles, right? Because at that point, you know what you're securing, you have experience in a the field, then it's going to be so much more easier for you for to find a position in that field, 
right? And I, and I just don't get the craze. I know a lot of people want to get into security. It sounds cool. Of course it sounds cool. If anything, that's the most cool field in tech, right? Because I can understand cloud can be boring, networking can be boring. Um, but security is that like new field where it's like, oh, this is so cool. Where we're stopping hackers, you know? But at the end of the day, if you're a beginner, I just don't see a path for you guys to go from zero to cybersecurity. I've seen people done it. Like it's possible, right? But is, do I recommend that? I don't. Like I, for a beginner, I just don't recommend that. Uh, but that just, that just seems to be what people want to get into, um, but, which I understand. But at the end of the day, what I do recommend, um, if you are going to go this path, please do not get a cybersecurity degree in any form. What I recommend is get a computer science degree or a CIS or IT degree that way, that's more broad that covers all aspects. Get a position in a field that's tech related, whether it's data, um, networking, whether it's cloud, it doesn't really matter. Master that field, then you can jump into security. That's what I highly recommend for any individual because, you know, that's just the way in, guys, and when it comes to tech, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you have a master's degree, just like this individual here. He had a master's degree. He had a bachelor's degree. He had all these certifications, all these credentials. Looks all good on paper, but you can't secure a job with those credentials. And I'll make a whole video on degrees and how the value has diminished. But at the end of the day, if you want to get into a field, you're going to have to master one skill set first before you can get into any sort of cybersecurity field, in my honest opinion. And you can talk to any IT professional who's been in tech for over 10, 20 years. Most people who shifted into cybersecurity already had experience in already one field before they got into cybersecurity. So that's what I'm trying to say, you know, but is it possible? One million percent. Yes, it is possible. But just know that's going to be difficult. Your road in terms of finding a job is going to be even more difficult as well. But that's something that you have to, um, you know, that's just something you have to go through and just accept if you are going in as a beginner. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a highly competitive market and we, no one is denying that. Um, just because cybersecurity sounds like it's a growing field doesn't mean it's going to be good for beginners. Just, just letting you know that. Um, but yeah, that's just my take on cybersecurity and why I feel it's not beginner friendly and why you shouldn't do it. What I do recommend, however, um, is learning networking, learning cloud, because these fields, especially networking, is fundamental. Because once you actually learn it, you actually have the skill, you understand the protocols, you understand the architecture, the topologies, what's going on behind the scenes. Because at the end of the day, networking, um, when it comes to cybersecurity, data in transit, right? From communication between me and you guys, right? There is a lot of vulnerabilities that can happen that, and that's when data is the most vulnerable anyway. So you having understanding of the network first, right? Can really, really help you in terms of your cybersecurity career, right? That's why I truly believe having understanding of networking, um, or any other field that's more beginner friendly would, would do for you guys. Um, if you guys have any other opinions and, and believe that cybersecurity is more beginner friendly, please, I would love to know in the comment section, if you guys, um, have any stories or, or maybe you guys did it, went into cybersecurity and realized like, damn, it's really hard to get in. Or maybe you guys had a successful route and you actually did get into cybersecurity. But like I said, cybersecurity is a big field. It's a, it's, it's a great field to get into lots of jobs, but also lots of competition. So just letting you guys know that just be forewarned. If you want to jump into this field, you're going to go through a lot of adversity. Um, but nothing, uh, nothing hard is, you know, worth getting. So, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'll planning on making more videos about cybersecurity, network engineering, just tech in general. Um, I know I'm also going to make more technical videos on terms of, um, network engineering as well. So if you guys want to see more of these videos, please let me know uh, what types of videos you guys want to see more of. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you don't, if you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs down as well. Um, and then also, if you want to see more of these videos, uh, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell button too, if you want to get notified. Um, but with that, with, with that being said, everyone, I really do appreciate your guys' time and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and peace.